how will you try to describe what may be the strategic vision of the new administration to the extent you can see anyone? The leadership right now is not cohesive. It's a strange amalgam of very able, senior, experienced officers, plus some eccentric deviations from that standard on the part of one or two. But that will probably become increasingly evident and will probably be resolved by dismissal. And gradually, the leadership will begin to be more cohesive. I think, in effect, the administration will have to go through a process of maturation, which matches the needed process of maturation of the American people. Is peace to be identified with the ending of specific wars? Or is the ultimate goal of peace to establish and maintain a structure of international order? A final word. All of the above is likely to be complicated by the increasing probability that severe weather problems on a global scale will intensify political problems. Global warming is already beginning to impact more ominously, signaling prospects of extensive meltdowns and the resulting threats to some existing habitations. Cumulatively, that could generate greater public anxiety that strategic insecurity is now a fact of life on a scale heretofore not experienced by the now increasingly vulnerable humanity. Regional cooperation will thus require shared wisdom and political will to work together despite historic conflicts and the continued presence of nuclear weapons. Always potentially devastating, but even after 70 years, still unlikely to result in a one-sided victory. <laughs>